Hi, Cormac here from the TrackX team. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the advanced features in the mixing window. If you're new to TrackX PC, I would recommend watching the quick guide to creating a video tutorial first. In the mixing window, the first thing to do is to pick a target frame size for your video creation. This will determine your file format, frame size and quality of your finished video creation. A new mixing window is defaulted to YouTube HD. You can change this by selecting a different frame size in the drop down box. The frame sizes in black are presets. This means the file format, video codec, frames per second and frame size are already set up for you, making it really easy to have a great quality video without having to go through complicated settings. If you want to create your own setting to export, just select a frame size that is not a black preset and in the export window, select the settings to your liking. In the mixing window, you can select multiple media clips quickly. Click on the auto selection tool. Once clicked, you will notice the cursor changes to a box. Hold down the left button on your mouse and select the segments you want. All these segments are now selected and can be moved as one unit. If you are not happy with any of the adjustments you have made, you can always use the undo redo buttons in the main toolbar. A neat little shortcut is to hold down the left button and right button on your mouse at the same time to bring up the auto selection tool quickly. Using the scroll wheel you can zoom in and out of the mixing window to select more clips. If you right click in the mixing window there are also many powerful selection options that will help your workflow. In TrackAx, we use envelopes to control the level of audio or the video brightness of a track. Inserting nodes on these track envelopes allows you to control the levels at any point. In the mixing window, you can split media for editing purposes. If you wish to split a clip at a precise point, grab the play bar and position it exactly where you want. Select the clip so that it is highlighted right click and select split segments at play cursor. The clip is now split at that exact point. You can also group clips together so that they always move as one unit. Select the clips, right click and select add to group. These clips are now bound together. You can easily remove a clip from a group by selecting it, right clicking and selecting remove from group. You can move track positions in the mixing window by holding the left button of your mouse in the track name and moving it up or down. You can also delete a track by adjusting the track height and clicking on the delete icon or right clicking in the track name and selecting delete. A loop region allows you to work within a specific area of the mixing window. You can set up a loop region by double clicking in the timeline ruler. You can adjust its length by using the trim handles. If you have a loop region set up and you export your mix, only the area within that loop region will be exported. Right clicking on the loop region gives you more options as well as the ability to remove it completely.